And talking about doomsday predictions, Elon Musk is making some as well at Twitter. He has warned the company could go bankrupt. The chief twit has sent out an email to the employees and I'm quoting now. Sorry that this is my first email to the whole company, but there is no way to sugarcoat the message. Without significant subscription revenue, there is a good chance Twitter will not survive the upcoming economic downturn. And here's another quote. We just definitely need to bring in more cash than we spend. And if we don't do that, there is a massive negative cash flow. Then bankruptcy is not out of the question. Within a couple of weeks of acquiring Twitter, Musk is talking about bankruptcy. Why is he worried about keeping Twitter afloat? That's because the numbers do not look pretty. Let's take a closer look at Twitter's financial track record. The Bluebird has lost money six of the eight years. Twitter is now a private company. Its last financial results came out in July. Sales fell by 1% year-on-year basis. Revenue was just $1.18 billion and Musk simply cannot afford to have these numbers. That's because he has bills to pay. Elon Musk, remember, borrowed $13 billion to buy Twitter. This debt is now on Twitter's books, by the way. Every year, Musk needs to pay more than $1 billion and that is just interest payments to the banks. So Musk is right when he says that Twitter could go bankrupt. Going by the company's last financials, Twitter is perhaps earning just about enough to pay interest on loans. Beyond that, the platform will struggle to even keep its lights on. What Musk does not say, however, is this. Twitter now has added financial liabilities thanks to his debts. The question now is, what does Musk plan to do about this? Soon after the takeover, Musk made some aggressive moves. Let's see how those have panned out. The first big move, of course, was Twitter Blue, the $8 a month subscription service. Anyone who pays gets that blue verification check mark. The service started rolling out this week, but it has already run into trouble. Today, Twitter seems to have turned off blue. Users are unable to sign up. What exactly happened? Twitter is yet to come clean, but recently several fake accounts were verified. According to reports, fake verified accounts for Apple, Tesla, SpaceX and countless other brands started duping Twitter users and clearly the company failed to catch up. Musk tried another thing, layoffs. Reports say around 3,700 people were sacked. That was equal to 50% of Twitter's workforce. Musk ordered their firing to reduce the salary bills. And how did that move pan out? Well, a few days ago, some of those who were sacked got calls. Twitter wanted to hire them back. And the chaos deepened today. More shakeups are happening at the top. Twitter's head of trust and safety and its head of sales have now left the company. Here is what those who chose to return can expect. Musk has made some new rules for Twitter employees. The work from home policy has been scrapped. The staff is being asked to work in 12 hour shifts. Office perks have been drastically cut and this includes free food. Musk has told his staff to work with a maniacal sense of urgency, quote unquote. Well, that's straight out of, out of Musk's Tesla playbook. He has pushed similar policies there in the past. Some of these decisions deserve greater scrutiny. U.S. federal law has set out some tough requirements for overtime. Those working over 40 hours a week must be paid more. And talking about scrutiny, the U.S. government seems keen on putting Musk under the lens. Listen in to Joe Biden. Do you think Elon Musk is a threat to U.S. national security? And should the U.S. and with the tools you have investigate his joint acquisition of Twitter with foreign governments, which include the Saudis? <laughs> I think that Elon Musk's 
cooperation and or technical relationships with other countries uh, is worthy of being looked at. Whether or not he is doing anything inappropriate, I'm not suggesting that. I'm suggesting that it's worth, worth being looked at. Um, and, uh, um, and, uh, but that's all I'll say. Seems like the Biden administration is keen on looking into Musk's business ties. As they say, when it rains, it pours. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.